Now we are going to look at some of the other T-Box modules, which could be useful when you are working with different process or you want to do some performance checks. The first is the process operations. And part of this, uh, you have the start program, uh, which is a T-Box module. So using this, you can start any particular application, be it a EXE, uh, a desktop application, or even a browser, okay? So let's go ahead and look at this. Um, let me create, open, or a start program, right? So let's create a new folder here, and I'm going to call it process operations. Inside this, uh, let me create another test case and let's call it open notepad. Okay, so this is the application which I want to open through Tosca and let's see how we can do that. So let's go ahead and add the T-Box module now and uh, we'll say open or start program. Okay, and here uh, we have to give some parameters. Uh, for notepad.exe, we just require the path. Okay, so I'm going to give the path here, which is C window and uh, notepad.exe. Okay, uh, similarly, you can pass the path for any particular application. Um, you can also pass arguments um, and wait for exit and also run as, which will have the username and password if uh, it's a secure application, right? So these are all the different parameters which you can pass, you can um, use whichever application you require, okay? But for us, uh, it is notepad.exe, so let's go ahead and run this. As you can see, the step has passed. And in the background, uh, Tosca has opened a notepad application or the notepad.exe, right? So that's what, uh, how you can start a particular program or application uh, using Tosca, okay? Using the T-Box start program module. To show another example out of it, right? Um, I can also add another T-Box module here. So, And this time around, we are going to open uh, the Chrome browser, okay, with some parameters. So let's go ahead and browse the Chrome browser, okay? And that you will find here in C program files, Google Chrome application, okay? If it's a 64-bit, if it's um, not a 64-bit, you will find it in the x86 folder. So here uh, I have got the chrome.exe, so I'm going to uh, browse to that path, right? And then um, I will also add some arguments, okay? So inside the arguments, uh, I'm going to first add uh, argument for incognito because I want to start this browser in incognito mode. And then I'm going to pass the URL, which it should go once it opens, okay? So I'm going to go to google.com so those are the two arguments uh, which I have passed, right? Uh, it should open in the incognito mode and it should open this URL, right? And let's go ahead and run this. So as you can see, the test has passed and uh, google.com is opened in Chrome in incognito mode, okay? So that's how powerful this particular uh, T-Box module is. It can open any particular application with parameters or with arguments, uh, even if it's a username and password protected application, okay? Now, um, coming to our last module, which we are going to look uh, in this particular session, is for timing, okay? So some modules which are related to timing, and uh, I'm going to add here a test case called start timer, right? And then I'm going to add in the test case called stop timer, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
bring in this particular uh, start Chrome, right? So let's actually rename this. And this one is for Notepad, right? So start Notepad. Okay, um, so I'm going to add another test case here called uh, Open Browser. Right, and I'm going to put it between the start timer and the stop timer. And then I'm also going to copy this step into the open browser test case, right? So it's basically going to do the same thing. It's going to open the Chrome browser, but what I will get here is I will get um, the time it takes to uh, execute this particular step, okay? How we can do that, uh, we'll add a module here called tbox start timer okay and here we need to provide a id which is just nothing but the name of that particular timer so i uh, will say it is a timer one okay and the same thing here but uh, we will have a different tbox module so stop timer and we'll be using the same id here so that uh, this runs and calculates how much time it is taking, right, in terms of the timer running for this particular test case. So uh, we have got the start timer and stop timer, and let's go ahead and run this whole folder. Okay, it is uh, executed now and in the results, uh, you can now see that um, it, in the log info, it has got a start timer, which was started, okay? Um, the application was launched uh, as expected, but in the stop timer, you will also find something called measured value, okay? And that's the time it took to execute this particular test step, which is in between these two timers and that was 28 milliseconds okay so it's quite useful if you want to know how much a particular step uh, is taking to execute right and what also you can do in the stop timer is you can put a maximum duration so um, this could be useful in doing a performance test for your uh, testing right so if that particular step or a particular test case is not completing in that particular time, then you can mark it as failed, right? It did not uh, meet up to the performance expectations of the particular test, okay? So what I can do here is I can put a maximum duration of just 10 milliseconds and put a verify action mode. And when I execute this again, Okay, so this time around, uh, it's going to fail uh, because the verification failed, okay? And uh, you can see in the stop timer, uh, it is saying that the verification has failed. Expected value was less than 10 seconds, uh, actually took 43 seconds. So it's basically a performance check or a performance test, right? Which you can perform using this uh, two T-Box modules, uh, start timer and start, stop timer. Okay, so these are um, all the commonly used T-Box modules, uh, which are generic in terms of how you can do different operations on files, folders, uh, on your applications, starting and stopping, and also some performance tests. Now, there are many other modules which are present uh, in the standard subset, but these are the most commonly used. Okay, so that's all for this session. Uh, which covered the T-Box automation modules.